talk about is how to be mindful. It talks about your body. We want to learn to eat when we're really hungry and stop when we've had enough. If you go through the entire week and you never hear your stomach grumble, you're not on a weight loss plan. You have to be hungry every now and then in order to lose weight. Now, you might say, oh, well, and I disagree with that. All right, if that doesn't, I'm not saying it's a scientifically proven. I know for myself, if I overeat and I'm never hungry, I don't lose weight. But if you get a little hungry, then you eat just enough slowly and enjoy it. And then you exercise. You got to throw that in. All I know is at Christmas, when I gave myself permission to eat what I wanted, we broke out the Rolaids. I haven't had a Rolaid, and I can't tell you when. I didn't feel good. I laid in bed at night having indigestion. Our bodies tell us when we eat too much. Our bodies tell us when we don't eat the right foods. We have to realize when we're hungry and then think about what we're doing. If we're eating from an emotional standpoint or a hunger standpoint. And sometimes all it takes is to stop because hunger is a need that comes from the body. And an appetite is a want that comes from the mind. The other day, Bob says, what are you hungry for? And I really read this article and I stopped and I said, green beans. I don't know where it came from. I ate green beans like they were the nectar of the gods. They were so good for some reason I wanted them. No guilt, green beans, no salt. I had salt free ones. They were so good. Stop sometimes and think, are you hungry for the chips or the ice cream or is that the emotional appetite? Because you eat a lot of green beans and some boneless chicken, you're going to get full. You're going to get full. Then you go into those thoughts. This is a big one for me. Compulsive and incessant thinking is correlated with bodily tension and stress. I'm like this, what about this, what about that, what if this happens, what if that happens? I've tried to get better. I'm not there, but I've tried. Our thoughts lead us to the stress and the food. Half the things we worry about happening never do. We have to be mindful. It's icy roads. I'm going down McDonald Road. What if I get an accident? What if some car hits me? What if I, what if I go into a spin? What if I, what if you just stop, Ellen, and start saying the Hail Mary and just go slow? That's what I did, stop, stop. Sometimes to be mindful, you gotta stop that thinking and I went, Hail Mary, full of grace. I got down McDonald Road, yeah, it was icy, but I was careful. So, we need to really be thinking about what emotions are throwing us towards that food. And then it talks about the benefits of mindfulness. If we go through life on automatic pilot, where we go into the fugue state, where we're just eating mindlessly, where we're not even paying attention, it can hurt us in so many areas. Read this over, it's interesting. And then it also talks about the choice. I feel that losing weight for good gives us choices. We're in control. A lot of people who are overweight are control freaks. Isn't that a juxtaposition? <laughs> Isn't that interesting? We're so worried about being in control of everything else in our lives that we overeat because we got to do something. Man, if we're in control of everything, it gets to be a lot of pressure. So, oh, forget it. I can't take the pressure. Give me the food. What if we took that same controlling nature and tried to control and be mindful? Wait a minute. Do I really want to go in there on Thursday and say to Ellen for the 18th time in a row, I had a bad week? I got to the point where I was saying, did anyone die? Because I feel there are bad weeks and there's, you really didn't try very hard weeks. And this is what I'm talking about. There are times, no matter how hard we try, when we're going to reach for the bad foods. But if we get back in the saddle, if we put on our serious hat and go back. Somebody lost weight this week and they had one bad day. And she said, I don't know, I lost control one day. But the next day I woke up and said, what are you doing? She thought about it. She stopped and got back in the saddle. This emotion, how many people here are emotional eaters? I think just about everyone in the room and then the, the ones who aren't uh, raising their hand are so emotional they can barely get the hand. <laughs> 
The thing is, if we are mindful of our emotions, if we say, what, what am I feeling? I know some food log places, they make you say how you're feeling. I'm not going to make you say that. If you want to, if you want to say, I felt stressed, but I still had chicken and green beans. Then at the end, you say, you know what? I feel good about myself. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like when I'm done doing something right, I think, man, I feel good about myself. What's so bad about feeling good about yourself? In small groups, I want you to discuss the four principles of mindfulness to food fixation. So that's why it says discuss a small group on there. Insanity <laughs> is thinking that a quick fix is going to help us. <laughs> Insanity is thinking that if you join Pray It Off, tomorrow you'll wake up and God will be there handing you your prepackaged foods <laughs> saying, you can eat whatever you want, there's no calories. That doesn't happen. Just like I still haven't won the green back and it's been how many years, you know? It's not going to always happen. The bottom line is, if quick fixes the latest fad diet worked, then we wouldn't be constantly on the lookout for another one. I'm not saying anything bad about gastric bypass. I'm not saying anything bad about Nutrisystem. I'm not saying anything bad about The Biggest Loser. But I can say that I've seen in all those occasions where people have gone through that and gained weight back. The only thing in my book Eat less, move more, and ask God to help us. We are so lucky to be Catholic Christians and know that God cares even about what we eat if we stop and go, Lord, help me. How many times when your hands mindlessly in the chips do we say, you know what, I'm going to pray for a few minutes. Let's stop and be mindful. Read this article. It's really, really interesting. Okay, Bob. <laughs>